This relationship is complicated. Like what's wrong with me? Am I losing my passion for photography? Why don't I want to pick up my camera and go shoot photos anymore? He used to bring me so much joy. And also, why don't I feel like this about video? I absolutely love shooting videos. I really hated video before I started a YouTube channel and then somehow that shifted. And I think a lot of it has to do with storytelling. I've always had this really complicated relationship with photography. I would be absolutely infatuated with it for like three or four years. I would live, eat, breathe, shit, photography. And then something would click and I would just be like, disinterested. For a period of time, I would just go and I just would not want to pick up the camera. And I think that transition kind of started when I started taking my passion for photography, my hobby for photography, and turning that into a career. When I started shooting photos for clients way back in the day, that's kind of when my relationship with the camera kind of changed. And when, you know, going out shooting for fun uh, was no longer the case. And every time I picked up the camera, it felt like work. This kind of process happens all the time. I become obsessed with photography for a couple of years, then I kind of become disinterested with it, don't want to pick up the camera for a couple of months, then something happens, I'm really excited about it again for another couple of years, and then I put the camera down for a little bit longer. And every time I put that camera down longer for photography, it keeps getting longer. And I think that this is the longest time that I've felt like this about taking pictures. When I first started getting these feelings about photography, the first like, time or two where I started feeling that disinterest towards taking pictures, I decided to start a personal project. I started a portrait project and kind of hoped that it would patch up this dysfunctional relationship that I had with this thing that I love so much. I started photographing my friends and family, experimenting with different lighting techniques and poses, inspired by the likes of Dan Winters, Joey Lawrence, Andy Leibovitz, and Dave Hill. And I worked on this portrait project for so long that you could actually see quite a significant difference between the first portraits that I had taken and the ones more towards the end of when I kind of fell off with that project. And it was really fun to have something that was a little bit different, that wasn't work, that I was able to kind of experiment with creatively and try different and new things inspired by the photographers I loved and kind of learn and pick up new techniques. That kind of helped me get back into shooting photos and also helped me kind of fall into the style that I currently sit in right now. So yeah, I started this project and it was working. My passion for photography started to come back. I got more excited about calling up random friends and say, hey, will you want to come over and like, let me shoot a photo of you or let's go downtown. I'm going to bring out a flash and an ND filter and we're going to shoot at F1.2 in the daylight with flash outside. Passion was burning inside of me again and then suddenly it went out. I fell off. I lost interest again. And so this has just been rinse, repeat basically since I turned my passion for photography into a job. And that's something that we don't talk about enough when we're starting businesses and YouTube channels where we're taking our passions and our hobbies of video editing and filmmaking and photography or design and then we're turning them into a job. It completely changes your relationship with them, which if you're okay with that, that's fine. And I think that when you're doing something for work that you love, it makes the hard stuff a lot easier. I shot this whole set in Trinity, Newfoundland last summer that I forgot all about. And I came across it like a couple of weeks ago and I started editing these photos and it was a reminder like, oh my God, photography is so important. A, I am so passionate about it. I had a blast editing these photos, but also it's so important in capturing moments in time, capturing family memories. You can capture stories with photography and oftentimes I think I keep forgetting that because I think Instagram is kind of made photography a little bit weird. Passion for photography and making art kind of collides with the job that is social media and making content that is going to perform and in turn grow your accounts and in turn bring in hopefully partnerships so you can put food on the table. I feel partially defined by the word photographer because I've been doing it for over 20 years. I wanted to go to school for photography originally, but I, I couldn't afford to go because it was, going to school in Toronto and it was expensive. And that's kind of when I went into graphic design and kind of fell in love with that and then kind of took both of those passions and kind of mixed them together, which made for a really exciting career, especially when I went freelance. But again, turning the things that you love to do in your spare time into a job, you know, you don't really do those things in your spare time anymore because when you do, it feels like you're working. So now you have to find a new hobby to kind of fill that void. When people ask me what I do for a living, oftentimes I default to saying photographer, which isn't really quite true anymore because I feel like the word content creator might describe me a little bit better. And the more I dive into video, the more I fall in love with making videos, the more I feel like I've lost that connection to the word photographer. I'm struggling to get that back, but I'm also kind of realizing that maybe that's not a bad thing. One of my goals for this year is to try and shoot more photos, but to not force it. I'm just going to around with my camera. I'm going to take photos of whatever I want, whether they're a banger or not. I may or may not post them. 
I don't know, I'm just going to kind of explore it pressure free. I know that new gear won't fix this and I don't need a new camera, but I have decided to downgrade, if you would call it that, my main photo camera. One of the things that I find is that when I'm shooting videos for this channel, which I love doing, uh, to take another photo camera, it's like double the gear. Oftentimes I find myself leaving my photo camera behind and then just kind of using my phone to shoot photos. I swapped the a7R4 out for the Sony a7C2. It is much smaller. It has a few less specs on the photography side. The resolution is half of what the a7R4 is. It does have some other exciting features though, like the video specs match my a7S3 and our a7 IV. So it makes for a perfect second or third angle when we're shooting our films and series. But it's also really small and accessible. It can be worn around my shoulder and it barely feels like it's there. With that being said, if you're in the market for a Sony a7R4, send us a DM on Instagram USA only. Okay, so let me introduce you my new camera camera setup. This is the Sony a7C2 with the 50 millimeter 2.5G lens. I actually rented this setup back in February to give it a try to see if this size was a better fit for me. I shot more photos in that two weeks than I have all last year. And to me, it was kind of a no brainer. Like this just makes way more sense for how much I'm shooting, which is not a lot. And for how much gear I'm constantly carrying around. A few quirks of this camera so far, like no joystick, but I do like the flippy screen. And uh, there's only one card slot, but I think that's okay. Cause as I said, I'm not actually shooting that many photos. And I really like the size of this camera. It feels more like, you know, the film camera that I started on, which is kind of cool. New gear is definitely not gonna fix a complicated relationship, but if it is something that might make things a little more accessible, then I'm all for it. So I'm very excited about this edition. I'm not quitting photography. I like physically can't do that, but I do need to kind of start reigniting that passion for it again. And I think I'm gonna try to do uh, what I did in 2010 start a passion project, work on that quietly behind the scenes, no pressure, no big goals, just kind of a concept and kind of a way that I can mix photography, storytelling and graphic design kind of into one project. So we'll see how that goes. Don't ask me about it because I'm not gonna post about it. Um, not until it's done, if I even finish it. But I definitely recommend to people like try the passion project or the creative project, come up with something completely different with the goal of just trying something new and use it kind of as a creative expression and creative development. Oh my God, making videos is, is like therapy. It kind of feels weird to sit down and spill my guts to you. If you relate to any of this, let me know in the comments. It's really a strange feeling when you take your passions, you make them your profession, changes your relationship with it. Uh, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. I don't wanna ever be in a position where I say I'm like giving up photography because I know it brings me too much joy when I put myself in those situations and get out and take pictures in the process of editing them and things. But getting out is my biggest barrier right now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, we'll see you, yeah, we'll see you next week.